Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. It is 8, it's not 8.43. It is 6.02 a.m. and I am just coming out of my bedroom. I'm ready for work, so I need to feed the dogs, pack my lunch, make my breakfast, and then get on the road. I decided to sleep in a little bit today because I slept really bad last night. And last week when I left at 6.30, I still made it to work before 7.30. So I'm thinking maybe if I do sleep in, I'll shoot for leaving around 6.20. So I have plenty of time to do all that. So I'm gonna get my chores done and then hit the road. Okay, so I am now at work. It is 7.22 and I just got here. Normally I'm here at seven, which is really not much earlier than I'm here now, but let me explain. So I got out into my car this morning. It started just fine. My husband left it full of gas, but there was low tire pressure, of course. And I left later than normal. I left at like 6.25ish. So of course I was like, crap, now I have to go get air in the tires, no big deal, I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. As long as I get to work before eight o'clock, I'm happy. Because I'm fully prepped for the week, all I have to do during any prep time this, uh, this week is prep for next week. So anyways, I go to my normal gas station, the one where I have the least amount of luck, and uh, there's no tire pressure thing, like it's out of service. <laughs> 
uh, it says out of service right on there. So I have to go to a different gas station. So I went to a different gas station, put air in the tires, and the light still was on. So I'm like, okay, um, I'm just going to go to work because I know I filled it. I put air in the tires. So there's not really much more I can do at this point. I have to just kind of trust that there's enough tire. There's enough tire. There's enough air in the tires to get me to work. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit today because I haven't been doing outfit of the days, but I would really like to, even though I don't think my outfits are that great. Um, I like the shirt that I have on today. So I am wearing this gray shirt and it's cute because it has like a cutoff and then it has kind of like a short bell sleeve and then it has like this peplum detailing at the bottom. I'm wearing jeans because we have a free jeans week since it's a short three day week due to Thanksgiving. And then I just have on my chestnut tiki's and then this pink cover up thing from Target. This isn't gonna stay on all day because the high today is 75 and I'm not wearing this all day. Um, also, I'm super, super pumped because the last time Lipstick and Littles had a pre-order sale, I bought a bunch of t-shirts for all the people that I work around. Um, I bought some for my teammates. I bought some for my aide that comes in every day and works with my students. I bought one for my librarian because she's just so amazing. And then I bought, um shirts for my AVID team, the girls that went with me to the AVID conference. So I'm gonna actually deliver those to them right now. I also, because I worked a princess party this weekend, I got a little extra money. So I decided to buy myself a coffee pot for my classroom. And I just got this cute little five cup coffee pot. And that way it's just one less thing that I have to do in the morning. So I brought two coffees. These are the Black Rifle coffees that my husband buys. And since he subscribes, he gets way too many coffees than we drink at home. So I just brought one of those. And then I have this one from TJ Maxx. It's just this like pumpkin pie flavored coffee blend. So I'm gonna actually go deliver some shirts right now. And then I'll come back inside and get this all set up and ready to go. Hi guys. So it is three and the kids are now gone. And I didn't get a chance to vlog at all today because I had lots of behavior issues, so I had students in here during recess. Um, so I did get my little coffee station set up and I have my Brita and I do have an ice tray that I'm gonna make some ice cubes with. Um, but yeah, overall the day was good. A lot of behaviors that I needed to take care of, a lot of talking, <sighs> just a long day. So. I am gonna go to my leadership meeting in 10 minutes and then I'm gonna go to the discount tire and see if I can't get my tires um, topped off with air before I drive home. And then I need to go to Target or Ulta or one or the other to get a few things like body wash, face wash, stuff like that. So, busy afternoon. Hey guys, so. Scott and I are gonna do something a little bit crazy. We ordered a couple of packs of these spicy Korean fire noodles and we're getting ready to film the challenge. So these are the Samyang fire noodles and we actually Googled it. Am I doing this right? I just said it be. We Googled um, the spicy Korean, Korean. <laughs> that's probably what's gonna happen. We're gonna be Korean. Um, the fire noodles, and so we ordered these from Amazon, and they're just, they were what, like three bucks? Yeah. <laughs> Hot chicken flavored ramen. Five minutes. So we're boiling those now, and we're getting our filming space set up. We have like ice cream and water, and it's gonna be crazy. So uh, that video will be coming up. <laughs> Oh, my face is gonna burn. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. I know I look like I'm wearing exactly the same outfit as yesterday, but I, yesterday, but I promise I'm not wearing the same outfit. I'm wearing the same pink um, sweater, a different gray shirt, different jeans, and some boots because it's gonna be 78 today, so it's gonna be cold. So, uh, no cart problems this morning, thank goodness. Last night, Scott and I did the noodle challenge, as you guys saw, like, seconds ago. Um, and it was pretty intense, definitely spicy. Uh, we survived it. 
we finished the bowl. That video will be posted pretty soon following this one. Uh, but yeah, so I just walked into work and I have duty at 8.05 and it is seven, looks like almost 7.15. Uh, I have a few things I need to do before the day begins. Yeah, it's 7.15. And then I want to sit down and actually start planning for next week. I have everything printed that I want to use um, for reading. Uh, we're doing reading standard RI9, and that is comparing and contrasting informational texts. So I have a few uh, things here, and I'm just going to show you what I found, the resources I'm planning to use and then I'm gonna run and do my errands this morning. Okay, so the first resource that I purchased is by Jamie Jacobs and that is on Teachers Pay Teachers and I believe this one was free and it just has two little short informational texts and then you do the compare and contrast Venn diagram. I don't know if I wanna use the Venn diagram because I would rather do like a two column note since we're in avid school we like to do two column notes and um, so we might do a three column notes instead so I might actually just take the text and chop these off and it actually came with two stories so this one's on wolves and this one's on coyotes so that would be a great introduction to comparing and contrasting and then I also found one by Marissa Gaines and it's all about the winter and summer Olympics it's the same kind of deal, um, having two texts and then comparing them, finding both of their main ideas, their supporting details, information that's similar, information that's different, um, and then just comprehension questions, so those are really nice as well. I also love, I think I've shared this with you guys before, but I love the Common Core Kingdom resources. This one came with a bunch of texts, and then they come with questions, and I like them. The kids love them because of these colored, color-coded, so they have to go back into the story and highlight their evidence for each question using the coordinating color. So I really like those. So these are just the resources that I have for next week. I'm also going to start using, we, we use the, um, as our district growth assessment, we have been using the STARS, uh, School City STARS test. <laughs> and last night at leadership, they told us that our district is really, really looking at our STARS data. And we actually have another benchmark assessment coming up in the next couple of weeks. But they also told us that there is a possibility that Arizona is going to ditch AZ Merit and move into more of like a menu for school districts to choose from. Um, instead of having like a giant space wide, uh, space wide, <laughs> statewide assessment, it will be like a district choice. And our district will probably choose the STARS test. So what I'm going to start doing is, and I know everybody says, don't teach, the te don't teach to the test, don't teach to the test. Yes, that's exactly true. But when your students have no clue how to navigate a test or what types of questions are on a test, it makes it really difficult for you as a teacher to A, have your students show growth that the district's expecting because that's the data they're looking at, and then two, AZ Merit, the state assessment. If your students can do a great, you know, a great job in class, but they're not proficient on a standardized test, I feel like it's like, are they really proficient in class? I don't know. That's just kind of like a personal like battle that I always go through. You know, don't teach to the test, but the tests are really important. And even though they don't measure all of a student's abilities, they do measure the standards. So I'm gonna start using our STARS assessments. We are able to access those, print them, and use like an item bank to help assess our students. So I decided that every week I'm going to use our STARS assessments 
as like my common formative assessment and use that data and information to um, for grading, for uh, data collection, for planning purposes, for small group, and that way I can just get my students exposed to the vocabulary that they're going to be seeing on these tests. That way they can feel more successful. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pull all of the items for that reading standard, our I-9 from STARS, print it out, and then go through and see what types of vocabulary I need to make sure to include when I'm teaching that standard, and then um, being able to assess them in the same way. So I'm gonna go run and get these stapled and then I will be back to plan. Hey guys, so it is prep time. The kids are at PE and I am just sitting down because I already copied everything for next week. So all I have to do is type up my lesson plans and then I am all set for next week. Super, super exciting because I don't wanna be spending any of my holiday break doing lesson plans. So Scott and I, I think after school today, we're gonna go and buy our Christmas tree, which is super exciting because we're finally gonna get a really nice, we're gonna get a fake tree just because with cash, he's gonna be pulling on it a lot and we just, want to be able to use the tree over time and it's just better for us as a family. We've had real trees in the past and they've been really like, they smell really great, but they've been just kind of a pain in the butt. So we're getting ours from Costco and I'm just really pleased. I'm really excited about uh, that. I'm just really excited. I love the holiday season. I'm sure all of you do, but I am planning. I'm trying to find it actually. It's a writing assignment and it's uh, if you were trapped in a snow globe. So I'm gonna see if I can find that. And then it's cute, you do the little craft with the little, um, with the little plastic plate. So it looks like I found a, if I were trapped in a snow globe, writing prompt and graphic organizers. And this is by Kelly Malloy, uh, and it's a free resource, so I'm loving that. I'm thinking I want to do something wintry when we come back from Thanksgiving break just to kind of get the kids inspired and engaged. Hey guys, it is lunchtime, and I am super excited to eat today. So I'm going to copy Mr. N and do a what's in Mrs. Valdez's lunchbox. Today we have a... Ready Pack Foods Organic Southwest Salad. I like these because they're organic, they're chopped, and they come with the dressing. And then I brought a big bowl to mix it in with some homemade shredded barbecue chicken. And I just put it in this little container that I got from my Beachbody program. I don't use them a whole lot, but I like it when I have to pack like sides of stuff. So I'm gonna go grub on this. Good morning guys, happy Wednesday. It's Thanksgiving Eve today, and yes, I am working. <sighs> Unfortunately, we had to work all week this week, except for Thursday and Friday, obviously. I just got to work and it is 7.08. I did stop at Starbucks though, because I'm treating today like it's Friday. <laughs> I am almost done with all of my grading. I think I have like three things left and a couple of them are like multiple choice items so I can definitely have a kid grade those. I just need to enter a few more grades into the grade book and then my progress reports are finished. So I splurged and got a peppermint mocha this morning because I haven't had one yet this season and I love them but they're so full of sugar so I just saved it for a special occasion. And then I also got my favorite ham and cheese croissant and my favorite egg bites. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, I'm gonna do some grade book stuff and then I'm gonna finish up my lesson plans for next week. I have my, write, my reading plans written, I just have to write my math plans and then I'm done. So uh, math plans should be pretty easy. Since I already know what I'm teaching, I already know where everything is, so I just have to type it.
Hi everyone, so the week has finally come to a close and it's Wednesday, so Thanksgiving's tomorrow. Super exciting. I read my students a nice little letter from Santa Claus this afternoon. So it looks like we are going to be getting an elf on Monday when we return from Thanksgiving break. So I put the letter up here so that it's able to be seen by all. Um, and we're pretty excited for our elf to arrive. So I'm just cleaning up. I hear there's a rumor going around that we get to leave early today. Hopefully this rumor is true because I would like to go by, find myself a Thanksgiving day dress and maybe some other fall-ish clothing since I don't really have a whole lot. Every year I tend to get rid of things and then I just start, you know, slowly dwindling down. But yes, I am cleaning up, throwing away anything that was unused, recycling some things. Um, I found this cute little morning elf morning report thing. So I made my students, they're gonna be elf morning report books. And there's just five of these with two on each side. So there's 20 days worth. And then I'll make them a cute little cover and staple them together. So every morning when they come in and they're eating their breakfast, they'll do a morning elf report. And then um, uh, we'll, we might do the inferencing thing from Pocketful of Primary. That sounds like fun. Um, just maybe some other things since the elf is coming. We'll try to kind of use her for some of our activities. I think that would be really fun. So I'm just going to clean up. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys being here. I just i am glad to be back on YouTube, glad to be vlogging again, and I will see you guys after Thanksgiving. Bye.